Alright, this time we built a little further to the flank and we'll drop a grenade on that one. Man. Let's go ahead and hit him. Good. Perfect. Alright, first try, guys. Excellent. Exactly how I pictured it the first time. If we didn't have to repair, this would have been a little easier for us, but it doesn't matter. Let's bring over to the uh, right flank. Looks like the only thing damaged here is the front gun. Okay, well now we know a few things we didn't before. We now know the enemy's going to send mortars at us, and we now know that they're going to send troops from right and uh, left flanks. We also know we need to get a few of our things spread out a little bit more. So while we're waiting for the enemy to send troops... Oh, never mind, they're already sending them. Okay. Well, I was going to try to send out our sniper to uh, set up a little bit of an ambush with bouncing Bettys and such, a little minefield for them, but I guess not. Okay, we'll send our machine gunner this way. We need somebody to get healed up, our sniper there, but... Oh, it looks like this guy can dig too. Alright, we'll shift positions then, left and right, depending on where the enemy's at. Get over here now. And the AI parked in front of a tree. I don't know when I've lost more uh, things to, either the AI or the damn enemy, I don't know. All this unnecessary reversing and 14 point, uh, it's almost like a Haywire uh, Tesla AI. Ooh. We should get Tesla to do uh, a high for Metal War Assault Squad and such. And this game too. Oh, look at the two different machine guns. I didn't realize one's an MG42 and the other's... Uh, one's an MG42, the other one's actually a MG34. I didn't realize that actually before. Cool. Yeah, well, we definitely want to take more machine guns. So the front one is the MG42 then. So the 34 is in the back. Grab a bunch of ammo. I'm going to throw this away into the back here. This could be useful for later. In fact, I'll say I'll leave some of the ammo just in case. All right, my man, MG34 time. Get the rest of that vehicle healed up. Medic on standby, machine gunner of course choosing the rifle rather than the machine gun. Wow, these guys would have definitely been destroyed by this enemy attack. That is crazy. How many troops are sending there? Alright, hop back inside. Alright, we still got plenty of ammo. You guys got some good ammo for a while. Could use a little more, though. Uh, oh boy, just a few rounds remain for this guy. Let's actually go get some ammo from the MG-34 gunner. Oh, they're too far apart. Get in the trench, bro. There we go. Okay, we'll leave a little bit of ammo. Okay, I can hear the mortars firing off now. We're going to need to, uh... Oh, man. This is going to be rough. All right, let's see if we can actually cross this now. I think the only way we're going to be able to do this is by running over... the enemy mortars with speed. If we shoot them, we're just going to be a sitting target when we stop to shoot. I can imagine those mortars are going to be painfully accurate. There we go, crew shocked. All right, that's uh, too difficult to manage. Yeah, those mortar rounds are way too accurate. Yep, way too accurate. Well, let's clear out this side. That vehicle should be able to get through the swamp. Uh, let's see. It, wait, do we even need to take those out? Defend the camp is the only objective, so... I think we need to thin the enemy infantry out a bit more. But the mortars have got to go. How are we doing with friendlies? Are they taking any losses? 
Uh, a couple of men are down, but that's about it. I really want to go back to those supply trucks and get anything we may have missed on the right side. Uh, we're going to need SMGs, though, if we're going to push. I think those mortars are painfully accurate due to the fact that they want to hold that area for more reinforcements coming in from the same side, so they've got a more increased accuracy. Mortars are pretty good, especially against defensive positions. They shouldn't be able to hit the vehicle like that. But they came too close. We're going to try to get behind the mortars then. Sniper time. Yep. And another one on the run. Now we've got about a thousand rounds. That's fine. Nice quick burst took care of him. Enemy troops hitting the dirt. Okay, that takes care of them. If we close in on those mortars, I think they're going to turn and burn on us. So at least that takes care of the troops on this side. Let's take a look at the mortars. Uh, okay, we're going to have to try to get in on those guys quickly. Directly from behind. Let's use uh, t top speed. Village should be able to survive the constant attack. As long as they're not being mortared to death. We might be able to actually capture these. Oh, you know what? There's only five rounds. Reload. I don't know how to reload a machine gun like that. Ooh, this looks cool. Neat little road. Oh, damn. Came to a complete stop. That's not what we want. Mortars. Attentions are towards the front. I'm going to shoot at one and try to drive over the other. we got to take these guys down quick. Never mind. Woohoo! All right, let's come up behind the rest of the troops attacking. Between a rock and a hard place. I bet those guys don't expect that half-track to fire on their own uh, guys like that. Okay, let's grab a mortar real quick. We might actually have to attack that camp next, as they mentioned in their previous plans. The Germans have a camp and they want us to attack it. Oh, the Germans' attack's not going to go great. This is risky. Let's get everybody to the half track. Wow, we got behind them on the northern side. Let's see how many uh, wounded we have. Oh, damn. Well, that's more than I wish, but uh, at least they're not all dead. Maybe four or five. Great work, comrades. Our position is compromised. We must proceed with plans of liberating Ob Obshish, terminating the fascist commanding officer. I don't, don't fire at random troops, bro. Oh, great. Now we have a huge operation of clearing this area. Damn it. Need your squad to move swiftly. Some of my men are acting as spotters in the village. Cut off any escape routes the officer may want to use. Uh, we will attack when you give us the signal. Oh boy, we got some recon to do. Well, first and foremost, oh, if the officer is compromised, he'll try to escape. Exit's covered by the time you give us the attack signal. I'll give you three of my best men to help you in this dangerous task. Okay. Reinforcements, I'll take it. Oh, and we have some more men. Kill that uh, last guy out there. Where is he? There he goes. Okay, let's get uh, figured out what we want on these mortars. Okay, so it looks like there's spotters all over the village. We need to cut off escape routes. Well, that means that he at least needs to go to this crossroad to either go to the north or the west. Cool that they built those roads like that. 
Also, it, it's possible he could try to go east this way. Crossroad here would be good to defend. Oh, we could set up ambush points. Okay. Let's do that. And then we could try to drive him out of the village with the uh, machine gun. I don't really want to attack yet, though. If we do that, we have somebody over here, don't we? Is this maybe where the guy is? Wait, does that guy have a... Just a shotgun? Oh, collaborator. Oh, I see. Double barrel shotgun. Oh, that's cool. Well, he could sound the alarm, but I do want to defend this position. From these two crossroads here. And, of course, in the south, too. I don't see any other positions that he could go. Maybe here. Oh. Oh. Captured tank. Could try to escape on a motorcycle. Supply truck there. That's probably what he's going to try to attack, uh, escape on once he... Oh, yeah, that's got to be it right there. Okay, so that's what we need to uh, do is get him. Can we not just, like, kill him with the mortar? I mean, we do capture the mortar. I want to try try and see if we can do that. Let's give it a shot. Let's take our boys. We've got regular rifles. There we go. Get those mortars ready. Well, we didn't destroy the mortars, so that's cool. Okay, the semi-auto rifle should be pretty useful. Okay, back to the road. So that's where our convoy was going to. I'm surprised they didn't think something was up earlier in attack. Okay, these mortars appear to be damaged. Can they still fire? We only shot them with a machine gun, so they could be slightly damaged. But I think they could still fire. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting to see if they try to... Well, what they try to do. I'm pretty convinced that we could uh, attack from there. I think what we're going to need to do is launch the attack signal to see what happens and how to better understand what's about to go down. I have questions, is what I'm trying to say. Seems like there's a lot of troops here for some reason. Oh, AT rifle. Okay. Oh, there we go. They have track with the 14-point turn again. Okay, where's that other mortar? Get on that road, bro. Idiots are caught on the tree. Okay, come up here. And then over this way. Same with this mortar. Okay, great. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and save here, and then we're going to see what happens if we call this in, the attack signal, and then see how they respond, and then we'll be able to better plan, I think. All right, let's let her rip. All right, go. For the motherland, death to the fascist beast. I guess our random shooters are just going to start shooting. I'm going to try to send in our half-track and chase that guy down. He's right there, so... Okay, we gave the attack signal. Who's... Anybody doing any shooting? Try to clear out this guy here and then bring up mortar support. We'll carve away to that commander. Half-track was a good find. All right, nothing, I guess. Oh, there's an enemy mortar there. Oh, my machine gun, that's what that is. All right, we lost our machine gunner. Okay, I think the officer's gonna try to take this vehicle. Looks like he's getting reinforcements from a Panzer One. Where'd that commanding officer go?
Uh, I don't see the guy we're looking for. Some random guy. Oh. What the hell was that? I just... Okay, apparently this vehicle was loaded with explosives. Okay, we'll go find out where he is. Alright, let's let her rip. See what happens. I'm assuming... I, I gotta assume this is the commanding officer here, but I guess the only way to tell would be to... Kill the high-ranking officer? Oh, it doesn't show us exactly who it is. Well, I mean, that's gotta be him, right? Let's just go ahead and have the half-track roll in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, is this thing loaded with explosives? What is this? Are the... Oh, that could be explosive barrels. Oh, sometimes in this game, uh, in Men of War Assault Squad, this is how mines would be kind of set on the map. That would that'd be how you knew exactly where the mines were. It'd be a stack of boxes with the tarp over the top. That could be explosive if we go near it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't click the attack button. Derp. Okay, who could be the commanding officer? We just got to kind of pay attention to what they do. Oh, this could be a, him right here. Oh, yeah, this dude with the intel and all that? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go get this guy instead. We're just going to roll past the Germans. Hate is going to hate. No, 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 no. Don't stop, damn it. Don't stop. All right, we lost our view. All right, let's do our call in. I can only imagine that this has got to be our guy right here, right? Unless they're... I mean, is there any building that looks like it... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Classic Metal War. Oh, that's uh, school. Well, wait a minute. Schools, yeah. Wait. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Kubel Wagon. And maybe that's him? Lieutenant and an... Oh, there we go. All right, that's, that's what we're looking for. Thank God I found the other guy. Is there anybody else who looks like they could be important? These guys are getting drunk. Uh, okay, if we if we signal the attack, I don't know what's exactly going to happen, but let's just pile all the boys into the, the fun truck and see what happens. We'll just risk everybody to go in. Um, if this doesn't work, we'll just use this to see if that's actually the guy, because according to the objective, it says kill the high-ranking officer. Well, I mean, we've seen a, I've seen like a squad lead, and then I've seen a lieutenant, and the Oberst, I, I don't know who's here, Hit, I mean, uh, er Erwin uh, Hitler. I, I think that was the guy, right? Erwin Hitler, I'm sure. Pretty sure. Oh, I need to... Wait, we have 79% effectiveness. Why? Oh, we must have taken damage. Our efficiency is a little low. Or maybe it's because we're loaded with passengers, so we're slower, maybe? I don't know. I don't think that's going to really slow this type of vehicle down. Let's go ahead and call in. Use the attack signal now and see what happens. Go for the motherland! Death to the fascist beast. Now we'll see. I'm just going to try to run this guy over and see what happens. Oh, we're already being shot at by a machine gun. Oh, looks like there's another half-track in front of us. Let's go this way. Keep going, boys. Man down. Keep going. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah! Get goddamn wrecked. Oh, drive by, mother... See y'all nerds at the village. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, we're in a high-speed chase now. Oh, boy. No! They got the boys. Oh, wow. Okay, keep, just keep down, boys. Keep down. Those guys are only wounded. They're not dead. They're totally just wounded. Just a little Neospore, and that'll heal right up. Keep driving. Well, that was a fun meme. There's many ways to do this mission. We could do it with the mortars too, but the moment those boys, um, you know, sound the alert, that's it. All right, we're going to drive back to the village now. Keep driving. Oh, they they actually have a vehicle behind us chasing us. Keep driving. Oh, damn. That didn't sound good. What is that? Oh, it's just a truck. Never mind. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, let's see. Drive the Germans off a bitch. Oh. Really? I gotta go back to the future? Well, we can go back to the mortars, at least. Alright, let's do this uh, differently. So 
with all the extra guys inside the vehicle, I guess it increased their survival rate because more of those men could have actually uh, fired that gun. So I'm glad we brought them with. Here's the mortars. Alright, everybody pile out. Machine gunner, medic, sniper, rifleman, you can stay inside. Manage the gun, I suppose. Can this other guy shoot? I guess he doesn't want to. Alright, what do we got for vehicles now to deal with? Wow, that was that escape was awesome. That alone should have just been the end of the mission. Like, right now it's just uh, gonna be cleanup simulator. We'll flip the mortars around. And we'll let the mortars take care of anything nearby for a moment or two. And then we'll just machine gun our way forward. So we're gonna basically be rolling death at this point. The mortar should be able to kill the armored car. How many men did we lose? Four? Not bad. All those were just, uh... Ooh, that's lovely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not too bad. We went right into the heart of it. If we could get a tank or something, that would be awesome. Um, is there anything we can capture? There's you in these missions, there's usually like an abandoned tank or something. Um, is there like anything hidden? There's usually something. Oh. Oh no. Panzer 1 there. Okay. Huh. Well, I don't see anywhere where we could actually capture a tank. If we find one, though, we'll use it. Go ahead and get this guy out then, since the other guy seems to be both driver and gunner. And let's get the uh, mortars to roll forward, try to kill that vehicle. So if these mortars were extremely effective against our vehicle before, we'll try it against the enemy armored car. At this point, it really just becomes like a full cleanup operation. Wow, I didn't think that would work. So sounding the attack really just gets all the men to uh, rise up and just start shooting everything. Doesn't really do anything. I guess signaling the attack is pretty good, though, for cleaning up after the officer is dead. Okay, let's see if we can get that vehicle out of the way. Should have plenty of mortar rounds, despite the enemy firing at us for a while. We'll see how accurate this is. Oh, nice. We might be able to... Oh, nice. Wow, that's painfully accurate. Well, hopefully the enemy just attacks us now. So I think we'll just creep up the road, start taking out all the light vehicles that we see. The uh, truck, the half-track that seems to get a little attitude problem with us. Um, there's a Panzer one there. I see a white there. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Little, uh, little tank for us to use. Interesting. If we happen to reach that thing, we could probably recruit it. Kill the enemy that's on it. We pr probably should have went right over to that thing. But I went back to the mortars, which will definitely help us to clear out things. Let's use the mortars behind the half-track. It would be really cool, by the way, to see some of the German special units that would uh, typically put things on or in the half-tracks. Like, for example, they would put uh, mortars inside the half-tracks. Sometimes AA guns would go on the back of them. Giant flak, that type of thing. I like to think I saved lives in my crazy operation today. The amount of uh, enemy troops that may have killed ours could have been really high. And we saved some time, too. I think we stopped the Germans from getting any sort of reinforcements. Ooh, and our crews are getting veterancy, too. They're, they're going to become better and better mortars, mortarmen as time goes on. We just need to make a push to that half-track now. That I mean, that tank with the half-track. We could go in deep. could try to go on the far right flank and zip in around the top. Giving us access to a tank would be good, but again, it'd be super slow. We just need the mortars to finish off pretty much all the enemy infantry. Let's zip left. Okay, there we go. Uh, more over here, please. As long as we're getting kills with 
every mortar hit, though, it'll be worth it. And then we'll switch to that tank. There's got to be more things in this battlefield for us to find. Also, the marker over here. I don't know what the hell that is just to defend the camp more still. Wait, we've completed all the objectives. Oh, except for drive the Germans off. Never mind, I thought it said... I thought it was separated by secondary objectives. All right, more uh, Germans to clear out. And get them with that mortar, boys. It looks like, for the most part, their infantry is here. Once that's cleared out, there'll be a few stragglers, and we'll go for that tank and see how it goes. There we go. closer we get, the more targets that are within range. A little closer, please. Man. Getting caught on little trees like that is a little annoying. Oh, this is just awesome now. We're really cleaning up here. Oh, man, that guy's having a bad day. Machine gun fire and then mortar. Good tactic in Call of Duty, uh, sorry, not in Call of Duty, but in Company of Heroes 2 is that machine gun mortar uh, is quite devastating where you can fire a little machine gun, fire a little mortar. Good way to advance in that game. I do prefer Gates of Hell and Men of War and Call to Arms a little bit more for their uh, you know, quote-unquote realism, but I will say that that's a great playable game with many good campaigns and such too. What do we got here? Oh, well, we got... Got him. That's what we got. Yep, keep screaming. Alright, well, we're down to a few friendlies left. I, I noticed we still have, like, shooters in the village. I we have spotters, but what does this mean exactly? Somebody in the telephone pole? Or where where is this person? Apparently there's, like, a little green dot here on the mini-map, and I guess it's just supposed to be, like, uh, if you had Fog of War on, it's supposed to at least give you intel of where the enemy's movements are. Okay, we need that... Ooh, that is interesting. Uh-oh. 4.7 pack. And the fact that I didn't die to that thing? Crazy. Can you boys zip that uh, thing out of here? Should be one shot. Oh, damn, indeed it was. Hell yeah. It gives us a weapon against that uh, Panzer uh, 1. Well, let's do this. I'll see if I can throw somebody into the back of this half-track now so they can have somebody driving. There we go. We'll move this way and we'll go for the pack gun now. I'm going to try to do this on foot. We'll come back to the mortars if we need to clean up. Machine gun on the Panzer I. Pretty dangerous. But I don't think he's close enough to us to where... Is that two? No, it's Panzer 1. Don't think he's close enough to really do anything to us. Nice. Multiple machine guns and a sniper. All good things to have. Do you have a medic? Kit? No? There could be some in the half track. Ah, nope. Nothing. Okay. All right, let's get to this uh, area here. Could be able to capture some stuff from the German troops. Got to be a soldier around here somewhere. Where is that guy? It's a German somewhere? I can't... Seems like these guys are hiding in the bushes, but I can't see where exactly. All right, we're going to go for the AT gun. Use that against the Panzer One. They might still be attacking the Partisans. It looks like the Partisans are all dead. The faster we can grab this gun, the faster we can shoot it. What the hell is that? Oh, supply. Turn the gun quickly. Oh, looks like they just killed the rest of our partisans, or they're healing, one of the two. Okay, fire. Oh, 
Oh boy, what the hell was that? Whatever it was, we pissed them off. Panzer 1 is down, I think. The hell was that? A machine gun? Oh, it was another damn pack gun. Oh, no, you don't. Wow, how the hell did they not zip me when I went down that road? We must have been going so fast. They m they, we must have just been too fast. It's literally next to their position. Oh, hell yeah. Stay on that gun, bro. All right, we'll just uh, prowl around the neighborhood and clean up all the Germans. It's going to be pretty easy. I think I'll uh, maybe get two of the guys to bring back one of the... Uh, what does that mean? Uh, let's see. I, I have no idea what that means. Uh, click, tap, join, become a member today. Jump on the Discord. We got giveaways and stuff. Cool stuff. All right, cool. Oh, I hear shots. Okay, I think we can get off that gun for now. Everybody else seems to just be out in the open. If we can capture this... Oh, I'm going to... Okay, get inside, boys. Okay. Well, did a quick save just in case. I'm going to just try to make a run for this tank and just see if we can get everyone inside and do a little cleanup. And this is all it comes down to now is really the Germans, for the most part, like have a 80% chance of not being able to uh, attack us. Well, I'm going to drive manually then. So it's like they'll have an 80% chance of missing all their shots. And uh, we just need to get the tank. And I think the tank crew, for the most part, won't get inside the tank at all. They'll just try to like stand next to it. This is typical of these types of missions in this game where, or in this genre, where when you're tasked with assaulting a village, there's always a tank or something that you can find in order to try to occupy it and uh, take out all the remaining troops. Luckily, we took out those pack guns relatively easily. You better run, Hans. Okay, where's this crew? Oh, they actually got inside their tank. Keep going. All right, quick save just in case anything goes uh, awry. We're gonna try to capture this tank now. And let's see if we can sneak up on them. Wonder if taking the roads in this game is any faster. Though I would assume a half-track's probably got relatively decent speed off-road as it does on-road. The game you'd probably want to be more concerned about that in is Steel Division, which again is another great game similar to this one. Where's that damn tank? Uh, where's that thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, so we're going to try to zip up to that tank. And uh, make sure the crew doesn't try to break in or anything. Oh, there they go. Hey, we got them, boys. Damn, that was in the nick of time. Holy crap. Well, I guess we didn't need to save after all. One and done. Ba oh, oh, okay, never mind. Up, oh, okay, yeah, super pro. <laughs> all right, boys, pile out. All right, is everyone healed up? Yeah, do whatever it takes to get back up on your your feet. All right, let's finish this off for the mo. What? Oh, it's this. Oh, wait, how did I? Wait, what? They bailed on the tank, but why? Wait, was it damaged? Oh, looks like it's immediately repaired. What the hell? Oh, this is BS. I can't even get into it anyway. Aw. Is that a glitch? Well, we killed the crew. And the hatch is open. All right, well, let's go back in our vehicle then. Whatever. Screw them. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Okay. Well, man, I really would have liked that, that, that tank. That, mu that must be something that we should be able to control. We captured all the German mortars, machine guns, half-tracks... And now technically a tank. Now that's a Soviet tank that's been captured by the Germans and painted uh, with German insignia on it. So it is something that we can capture back. All right, reloading. Nice. All right, I really hope at this point 
uh, the Germans just retreat because we've really taken out everything they've got. I don't see any more machine guns. I don't see any more AT guns. It's just kind of a couple of troops just hanging out. Not really doing much. Oh, notice how the efficiency jumped up. Now we're at 83%. Maybe we repaired something. Or perhaps the gunner is more effective. I'm also seeing a lot of dots on the map. But I don't see Germans. Like, here's one, but where are the rest of them? Are we out of ammo? Uh-oh. Yeah, we're just going to have to run them over. There could be ammo in here. Let's make a quick stop. Oh. Brood, sir. Go ahead and give them ammo. There we go. Anything in here? Nope. Alright, back in the half track. Must be Germans inside the house. Okay, I see another area there. Really annoying in Men of War and also this game and Call to Arms when troops are inside buildings. take that. We'll save that for later. If we need it. Man, I hope the Germans aren't inside buildings here. Hello? I think they're hiding inside. Are they behind fences or what? They're just randomly running around. Oh, there they are. Collaborators, I guess. Now right, we're gonna zip outside of town and then turn around. Is this guy trying to grenade us? Well, damn, they had AP mines here. Bunch of jerks. There we go. My hope at this point is that the Germans will take enough losses that they'll start uh, leaving. I see a good concentration over here. That could be... Uh, oh, are they in? Ugh. Okay, well, there's a bunch of troops outside of the base as well. Let's try to go in here. Well, apparently they said the Germans really fortified the place, but not really. Drop the medic off. Oh, we can't because the gun's got to drop. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, I can hear the Germans again. We're going to need this a little bigger to find out where exactly they are. I see something up here that's captured. Oh, it's a machine gun. Yeah, let's bring the half-track up there. We'll leave these troops behind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Yep, just run it over. That's fine. Just don't get a grenade in the, uh, the old half-track. All right, so there's, it's really just a cleanup operation. There's a couple of Germans there, a couple of Germans here and there. I'd like to know how many troops are friendlies killed. How many troops are uh, forces, are allies killed while they... Oh. oh, nice, he's down. Well, this might be useful. Confidential documents. Nice. All right, half track's gonna push up the road. 
Yeah, machine gun's probably ready for us. This is this is over. This battle's over, baby. Okay. Who the hell can't drive? I think of all the missions, this one definitely feels the most like Men of War Assault Squad slash the original Men of War. Feels really good where you get a lot of micro control over your troops. Everything from what ammunition and gun that you want them to start with to micro and grenade throws. Everything's like a Hail Mary play. This is definitely where you want to use your, um, your quick save quite often. Alright, that's another enemy position down. Okay, we've really just got a few more troops left out here. I think the rest of them could be inside this house here on this side. Hopefully everybody's outside. It makes it way easier for cleanup. Oh, what? Are we out of fuel? Oh, we're out of gas. Well, would you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Hop out, boys. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Everybody heal up. And we'll try to find who's inside. Uh, let's see. And at this point, we could definitely capture some good stuff. Anybody in there? I think that was the Germans, but that's our troops. Oh, there we are. There we go. Here, yeah, we bopped that one guy in a bad German. Bop! A drink, comrades. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, damn. I thought we got rid of you. Oh, well. Mission complete, I'm assuming. There we go. Don't tell me the Germans are going to counterattack. Home sweet home. They left behind all the documents. How very interesting. Oh, no, I, I, those are mine. I, I took those. What is it? Convoys. Lots of them, it seems, were in a few available crossroads where they don't get completely stuck in the mud. Ooh. Uh-oh. Every truck we stop, every minute we delay them, it buys precious time for our comrades in the front line to stop the fascist advance. Our squad will ambush as many of them as we can, keep them, us updated on the German movements. New objective. Eliminate the enemy convoys. Don't let any supply vehicle get through. Oh, damn. I thought this was going to be over. Oh, well, I only have a few comrades left, bro. Oh, damn. Uh oh, I can hear vehicles coming. Uh, let's get that damn uh, AT gun. Well, this would have been good to have the tank. Tank down the trucks. They're our target. Armored vehicles, though. No match for the fascist armor. Can I occupy the tank yet? Did it on glitch? Nope, it's still glitched. Okay. Uh, where's that AT gun that I bailed with earlier? Damn, did I really, like, pull up that AT gun there and leave it for a meme? It was slightly damaged, but our troops should be able to hit it. Oh, damn. Oh, they're going to know something's up. Already hit him. That's one. Can't see the other one. There it is. Reload. Nice. Uh-oh. Not nice. I know we're firing high explosive. But whatever it takes. Get wrecked. That other vehicle is out. <sighs> that felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, let's go over here, get some supply. Did we stop the German advance? Zero out of ten trucks neutralized. It's like a whole nother mission, man. Okay, let's quickly repair. Well, we could capture that vehicle there, but... 
Man, I kind of wish we would have uh, kept more people alive. However, I think us just doing the drive-by in the town and then cleaning up was really a good option. Could still capture that Panzer One. Bring this AT gun up here, and then we'll probably grab a machine gun. Zero out of ten trucks neutralized. Where are they coming from? I guess they're going to tell us the movements. Don't let any vehicle through. Okay, so we need to definitely uh, stop... Oh, I wonder if we could actually defend this road here. If we pull back to the road, but then again, they might try to go from north to south. So we don't want that to happen. If we could get reinforcements at this point, that'd be nice, too. Uh, one guy just repairing. Yes, yeah, so we can't get that tank. The Panzer One is repairable, though. Get that AT gun up here. Nice. The flipped over vehicles from before. Hilarious. Okay, Panzer... Oh, another column is coming. I'll keep you posted. Reckon a couple of minutes until its arrival. Find some mines or explosives around the village. Damn. All right, we've got to defend. But where are they coming from? Mines are useful, but where are they coming from? Is it the same spot? Yeah, I want to dig in, like, literally in the middle of the road here. There's that Panzer One. Oh, well, that was nice. I don't know if our gun shot or if that was, uh... Must have been secondaries, because it doesn't look like we're reloading. Okay, get those guns repaired. Panzer One can be useful against supply trucks, but the armor... We gotta do something else with that. Also, where would the mines be? Arrival of next convoy, four minutes. Damn, okay. Well, we're gonna have to make this one a two-parter then, boys, I think. And I'll see you in the next part as we continue to slice through these convoys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you for the defense of the village and enemy convoys that continue to attack. Thanks for joining me again. We'll see you next time. Watch the playlist for the sequel to this one. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.